popular band called Wang Chung. Wang Chung? Well, yeah, and they have this, uh, this lyric in one of their biggest hits that says, the words we use are strong, they make reality. The words we use are strong, they make reality. And I actually loop that over and over, and, I, and I'll listen to that. And, uh, <laughs> it's pretty profound there. What's the first part? The words we use are strong. They make reality. It's uh, everybody Wang Chung tonight. It's like, I never noticed that lyric for years. And all of a sudden, I'm listening to the radio, and I'm like, what the hell is that? That's like a, that's like a deep meme right there. <laughs> the words we use are strong. They make reality. Cool. Well, that's funny. funny you mentioned that tune. I just noticed um, they now use it for a flipper or floor cleaner. The whole campaign. Or, I don't know. Some of you. They even go, everyone Wang Chung tonight. It's like a yeah, so the, the words, they do make their market. <laughs> that's their reality. Hey, Paula, I would say that's an example of verbality or words do not form reality. You can take that oh. kind of wisdom, which was once true, and it can be part of the deepest commercial web of, of commerce, and the actual thing is not verbal. Th these quotes I'm reading you are hard to follow because they're trying to describe a non-verbal non mental gesture. We're engaged in mental gesturing right now. Mental gesturing? So, so you're saying mental gesturing is beyond language? Yes. It, ah. It's beneath language. Not beyond, it's beneath. Ah, beneath language. Interesting. It holds it up. It supports yeah. language. That's what you tap into when you take uh, psychedelics. You tap into the experience beneath language. Would you say that that's senior to language, or is there no hierarchy? Uh, there is uh, there's a hierarchy when there is a print-based society. But if, it, if there is no print-based society, then there is no hierarchy. So it depends on the, the conditions that the society begins with. Well, then, if it is a print-based society, and then it then it would mean that the the thought would you know in the oral-based society, the thought and then the speech comes. So isn't there a hierarchy? There's always oh, the yeah. thought that there's, precedes. There's a, hier there's a hi hierarchy to in uh, in our society but it is being undermined by the android means extension of tactility which is what i uh, began talking about where the tactility is not being communicated to you but, am uh, but among the machinic parts okay. the reason you can relax is none of this communication in the communication matrix of the world is going to you none of it is being addressed to you it's being addressed to other machines yeah. And Not your chemical body. Well, gosh, aren't we acting like these machines now? I mean, the, I mean, it's, it's really, it, they're so close to us that you know everybody is so tuned into these, yeah. to these devices that uh, you know I don't see the, the division doesn't seem to be. Uh, if it's an extension of us, we yeah, are the machine. Yeah. I think it makes us invisible as we try and use it to be visible. Yes, mm, that's good. It's very seductive. It's going to make itself as invisible and as human-like to seduce that you think you're in control. It wants you. And the way you get out of that is, well, I'm not interested in controlling anything. So I don't care if you think you're in control of me. It doesn't matter. Nothing can control me because I'm not interested in having control. Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, caller. And, that, and you do that without giving up your ego. You don't lose your ego go into a miasma of mush uh, because you think that's what non-control is. You actually become tougher. You become, you become like Clint Eastwood. Make my day. Yeah. Well, I think it's like, I think, you know, when you look at the meritless fame that's out there now, like through rea reality television and how many people are famous for no good reason, I think that really <laughs> deflates what the ego is. And I think everybody has a huge ego because it's not based on anything anymore. They don't have to achieve anything. Right. You know? And, and you should, you shouldn't well, not tell you how to be famous for no good how. reason is really appropriate. <laughs> you know, this is the reason why Madonna has too much of a reason. That's why she's not selling. You've got to have an extreme lack of reason that the young people respond to. That's what they like because that's anarchistic. Well, that like props up then the then that's then that's just erasing all the older cultures that have achieved something, and all of a sudden those guys are like, yeah, whatever, Grandma. Yeah, I know what you did years ago, but you know, look how get over I can it. get over it. We ain't even remembering you. Watch me crash on. Watch me crash on my skateboard. I'm gonna get thousands of hits. <laughs>
that's it. That's it. it, it we got to get over even remembering any culture. And I know that's blasphemy on KCSK and the <laughs> Network. But uh, forget it. Amnesia is the greatest effect of the Android meme today. We can, here it is gathering all this information on us, and we can just say, well, screw that. I'm not bothering to remember any of it. Because you're remembering it, and I don't care about you. Yeah, yeah. precisely. Yeah.